My girlfriend 26F defends her cheating friend. Now another friend. Makes me worried 26M. Hello, since I do not have any people to talk to this about beside I've asked a co-worker 46 female, one other co-worker 44M and two guy friends 28M I've been with my girlfriend since 18. Been pretty good communication has been good last 5 years, s time decent, passion and talking about future. We actually have a kid, soon to be 2 years old. A house we own 50-50. Steady jobs, 2 cars. Long time ago 2015 think it was or 2016. My girlfriend had a friend who I technically didn't like because how she often tried to pull my girlfriend to clubs, parties or out drinking. She often also showed flirty behavior and she had a kid that was 2-3 years old my GF had known her since they were 12. I gave her s it about it but one time did tell her that my tolerance for her going out drinking every weekend without me and not even asking me would make me end the relationship. I told her I accept her going out sometimes but all weekends without me and still giving me hard time if I went one weekend a month. After that she stopped and went way less. Keep in mind her friend was also in relationship one time me, my girlfriend and her friend were at car festival. 2015 2016 and I am driving and her friend is talking to some guy she had on snapchat that she changed to female name, her boyfriend was babysitting at home like 300 miles away. But she asks if her and my girlfriend can go and hop in another dude's BMW. I look at her and say why would you do that? She tells me cause she likes a guy in that car and wants my girlfriend to come cause they are two guys. And I tell her she can go but I would then just go home 300 miles. Well my girlfriend was smart and did not go but the other girl went. Then she came back next morning to our tent, apparently they had s time. I asked if she didn't have a boyfriend which I knew she did because I knew her boyfriend very well. She told me not to tell. But I knew the guy, he was also my friend. Like me and him had spent time together fixing cars. Two days after we are back home and I tell me girlfriend that stuff ain't feeling right, that I was gonna tell the dude. My girlfriend got mad as hell telling her friend ain't happy in the relationship, she has done this before and not gotten caught. And I told her I am gonna tell him he is my friend and if he knew if someone cheated I would want him to tell me. So I tell him. Well she admitted and he found the guy and guy told him also next thing you know that girl gets mad at my girlfriend for me telling, stops talking to her and they didn't speak for two years. The guy thanked me and is now currently married and in much better place. Next story. My girlfriend works with this girl who's 25. They worked together since 2014. I think 250-300 people work there. My girlfriend and her started working there while finishing school and now work full time. She is kinda nice, big, obese but nice. She is also a party girl when single but not as much when in relationship like she is in now. She has a boy who is 6 but has a different boyfriend she has been with for three years almost. Maybe month ago my girlfriend tells me a story about some guy at her work that has a crush on her friend, he has been kinda flirty with her at work she told me her friend was hoping he wouldn't sit at their table because it would be awkward. I asked why? Unless she liked him back it shouldn't be? She just tells me it is for her and she does not like him and would never like or have s time with him. Fast forward today. My girlfriend asks me if I remember that guy, I tell her yeah the one your friend likes, she tells me her friend and that gut have been spending time together outside work and she might break up with her boyfriend cause she likes that guy more. I ask my girlfriend how come she just tells me this like this is normal for girls? She told me it's her friend's life and she isn't gonna go around her friend to tell her boyfriend she is cheating. Then she said I also dreamed you accused me of cheating I looked at her like the hell did that come from? But she told me it's not her business her friend is cheating, which I do agree it's not our business but it's the second time my girlfriend defends cheating, I just kept my mouth shut and said gotcha I ain't gonna say anything either since I don't know the dudes. But this has me thinking, this is her fourth girlfriend that has cheated, all four times my girlfriend has defended their actions somehow. The other two don't matter cause she don't hang with them no more. Their life went downhill and my girlfriend didn't like that and shut them off. Am I overthinking my girlfriend could also cheat on me or has and that's why she defends cheating so much? It has raised my concerns, 
mostly cause how her work is mostly younger people 30 years old or less tons of parties. She rarely goes if she goes I am not invited, spends often time on her phone but doesn't really hide it but often I feel she is suspicious, even often after work, I work further away from our house, I am about 25 minutes home, she should be around 10 minutes. Driving, but often she is 45 minutes or an hour and if I call she doesn't answer or answers and tells me she is at the mall looking for something but does not bring anything home. My co-works have told me I should be worried, cause birds of a feather flock together, so it's likely my girlfriend has cheated, well she has. She doesn't know I know. 2015. When she and her friend went to Denmark. The guy I told his girlfriend cheated found out little later they met some Danish guys and he had proof, his ex my girlfriend friend told him but forgot he would also tell me. My girlfriend denies meeting Danish guys but I had all the text proofs from my friend between her and her friend. But I've never bothered about it. What does Reddit say? I am gonna show her tomorrow the proof I knew she did in 2015. TL, doctor my girlfriend defends her cheating friends all the time. I know she cheated on me in 2015 but she doesn't know I have proofs, but she denies meeting the guys. But the story is more about her defending her cheating friends all the time. I told on her one friend cause I knew her boyfriend, little later about year he showed me pictures from texts between his ex and my girlfriend about the Danish guys, which yeah they did have s time. Update, in this post I talked about how I knew she cheated in 2015. 2016 but never showed her the proof but I also had gut feeling it would happen cause she was with her cheater friend. Anyhow. Reddit told me to show her the proof cause lately I have been feeling the gut vibe. Also her co-worker was technically cheating and my girlfriend defending it. So. I asked my girlfriend about the trip and I slowly took the conversation towards the Danish guys. I could she she was changing her voice a little. I ask if she cheated on me there cause I've been having the gut feeling and I knew her friend was 100% a cheater. My girlfriend said no I told her what if I had proof that she did? And she said nothing happened. Then I take my phone up and she tells me. Before I show her the text proof. She tells me yes she cheated on me and told me they had s time and she tells me this is the reason she hasn't gone without me to foreign country and also not often downtown cause she knew deep inside that I probably knew cause the questions long time ago but she d need cause she thought I never had proof I asked her if she had cheated on me lately or recently, I swear her face went from sad to shocked. She d need again, I ask. What if I have proof and she still denies cause I she hasn't. I ask if I could see her phone. And she asks me do you have any proofs I did? You said I'm just gonna see if you'll lie again she hands me the phone. I go through everything. Everything is normal. Few talks with guys she knows and I'm cool with. Then once I was gonna open the workspace chat or something it's an app that her work uses people can talk in group or privately it's like messenger. She takes the phone and said that's personal for work only that I'm not allowed to see that. It could be confidential and stuff like that. I tell her well or a normal worker at your job and if there is something just show me chats I am allowed to see she says it's all private and she could be fired for showing me. I pretend that I have proof and take my phone up and she says nothing I just look at the time and I tell her that it's in our best now to split and sell the house take 50-50. She gets upset and asks me how I stuck with her so long knowing what she did in 2015. 2016 and why I didn't break up with her then. I tell her that I had a gut feeling for a long time but no proof, I told her that the day she decided she was going with her friend was the day I knew something was gonna happen then she starts talking trust issue that back then I should have trusted her, I did. But my gut didn't. And my gut was right. I told her I got the proof later pretty late actually and I had stopped thinking about it cause I wasn't sure my gut was right or not cause I did not trust her friend cause she had already shown she was a cheater. But she asked me to trust her again. I told her no she tried to lie and didn't want to show me the workplace chat. Then she asked me to trust her if she shows me but first she was gonna go through it. I told her no cause she could delete. She gets mad and pretty upset and tells me to look but still to trust her. Voila voila, there it all was. Few random nothing special but apparently she is very close to three co-workers. Little flirty here and there, couple of jokes about s time, few jokes about being a trini at work but nobody to have s time with. 
From one of the guy her respond was I know that often sucks something like that. She tells me this is just nothing important and I tell her you talk nicer to them than me, you joke about s time, joke about being atrony at work and you even say to them, thanks handsome, thanks cute. You do not do that to me, I found nothing about then meeting or stuff but that was enough. We are splitting and house will be sold. So far she has been nice past two days, cause we still live together but are not together. Everything is better but we are still just finishing up parts of the house then it's gonna be sold. TL, dear update of an older post. Showed proof I knew she cheated. I also found that she has been very flirty to three co-workers and joking to her friend about having s time two of them that was enough for me to know. Cause her calling them handsome, cute and good looking made me extremely sad since she hasn't said that to me for long long time. She just started after I saw this all being way different to me. Like coming in the spare bedroom having s time, giving me massage, waking me up with biao job or s time. Something I told her long time ago I would be okay with. Thank you Reddit. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, sorry this happened to you, but glad you're getting yourself out of it. Redditor 2, she said you should have trusted her? At the time she cheated on you? Am I reading that correctly? Smiley face. Redditor 3, get your kid tested secretly. Make sure you are their father. Redditor 4, so far she has been nice past two days cause we still live together but are not together. Everything is better but we are still just finishing up parts of the house then it's gonna be sold. TL, dear update of an older post. Showed proof I knew she cheated, I also found that she has been very flirty to three co-workers and joking to her friend about having s time two of them that was enough for me to know. Cause her calling them handsome, cute and good looking made me extremely sad since she hasn't said that to me for long long time. She just started after I saw this all being way different to me. Like coming in the spare bedroom having s time, giving me massage, waking me up with biao job or s time. Something I told her long time ago I would be okay with. Thank you reddit. Wait, did I read that correctly? Up, is she actually barging into your bedroom spare bedroom and giving you massage and giving you oral? She's being nice because she doesn't want to break up with you. There's stability and you share a kid allegedly. Once she realizes that you're not backing down from breaking up with her despite her doing all those things you've wanted s time massage oral etc, she's going to get nasty. Watch for that. If you're serious about breaking up with her, time to stop with the s time, it's over. You probably should start locking your door lol. Oh another thing, you should probably get tested for STI and the kiddo, get a paternity test, just in case. Your ex is not the most trustworthy person. Redditor 5, good luck to you. You've done the right thing and will be better off for it. Redditor 6, I hate this for you. I hope you can find peace.